there everyone and welcome back to my next episode on the Wells Knight Patreon server. I am Mar and we are at a location that you may not recognize. Uh, hopefully at least one of you does. You should anyway. This is Evil's base. Evil Shoes' base. If you recall earlier in the season Evil Shoes came over and uh, gave an inspection to my base. Uh, he, he had some some things to say about the safety, which is fair, because, you know, it wasn't really safe. <laughs> um, but we are here to not really return the favor, per se. Um, he asked if we would be willing to dress up a path for him here at his base. Um, he had helped me uh, yesterday, uh, basically with some enchanting, which we'll get into later. Uh, I'll explain why in a bit. Um, and uh, I, I said, sure, I'd be happy to come and help you, uh, you know, return the favor for the enchanting help that he gave me and everything. Um, so I came over here. When I arrived, it was nothing but path blocks. Um, and, and I'll show you the path here in a minute. Now the problem is, why it's it's done, essentially, is because I, I worked on this for, you know, two hours or so, recorded here, recorded there type of a thing. I mean, you've seen this ty this style of uh, of pa of pathing before, you know, I mean, it's, it's kind of similar even in, you know, to the jungle, um, jungle transformation project, uh, but I had OBS set wrong. Uh, I had been playing around with the settings the other day, just testing out various things, and I forgot to put it back the way it should have been, so I ended up with a black screen. So yeah, so entire episode down the drain. Had to start all over, which is why I'm right here. Um, so we've got our the path itself is path blocks, coarse dirt, podzel, and then occasionally I have an actual grass block. Um, usually if I can with some um, short grass on top of it. Uh, I use the same lamp design that we used at our base, except I went with uh, instead of oak and. Uh, um, I think it, I don't remember if this was spruce or dark oak, but I decided to do spruce, spruce, and then jungle trapdoors. And these guys have been, yeah, 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 spawning like crazy. I've been over here for several nights and they just keep harassing me. I didn't want to sleep because I didn't want to reset my spawn. Um, we also have some hidden lighting. Now, some of these torches were already there and I just covered them up with bushes. Um, I added a few uh, of these uh, fences just to kind of help give an extra sense of boundary. Um, I had exactly 16 pumpkins. They're interspersed in here. I brought a whole stack of, uh, of blue orchids. I actually brought several stacks of different kinds of flowers. Then I got here and was like, oh, he's in a flower forest. Okay, then I guess I won't need those flowers. Um, so I, I forgo I forewent those and just went with the, uh, the blue orchids. Um, let's see, what else have we got? I did a lot of bone mealing, of course. Uh, that's always a, a good aid when you're working on paths. Um, it kind of comes up this hill here through this, uh, area. It's kind of slightly covered because of the trees. Um, and then it comes down into a mushroom village. Now, I knew, like, he, like, Evil sent me some, like, two pictures, kind of from, from this guy of where the path was so that I could find it when I got here. And he made a comment about mushrooms. I didn't, I, I could see the mushrooms on the map. I didn't realize these are actually mushroom houses. You can go inside of them. So it's got vines for you to climb up, though. Um, these vines are on the wrong side. He, he put a uh, string at some of them, I guess, to keep the vines from crawling up the other sides. Uh, I don't know if he wants that to be like that on all of them. Um, I don't, can you actually get up there? I feel like we need one vine at the top here. Hmm. Well, anyway, uh, you can actually get inside of them and it's, it's got its whole interior and everything. Uh, over here, there, there's a couple areas where it branches off. Right here, it branches over to here. This is where he has his flower farm. Now, I don't even, I don't understand the mechanics of flower farms in the slightest, um, but this apparently is a flower farm. Um, he also has the two tall flowers over here that I guess he just bone meal and then it collects somehow. Yellow dye, one to two bone meal. Hmm. Um... And then, on this other side over here, it branches off in the other direction, and there is a zombie flesh in an item frame, I'm and, and, and a water sort, like a water column going down. I'm assuming there must be a zombie spawner around here, and that would make sense, because every single time I go close to over there, 
at night time. Um, zombies have a tendency to spawn in droves. Absolute droves. Right around here, they typically start spawning in. Of course, now they're not going to. They were coming at me from all angles before. Uh, but I'm not alone on the server either. Morgron is on... Uh, you again. Ugh, go away. Stop. Leave me alone. Um, we're, we were only responsible uh, up to this point. Evil says he was still working on the side, on the other side of the bridge. Um, so we, so I, I literally just did from this point down to where I started uh, the little mini tour of the path. Um, there's not really anything too significant to see. It stopped making so much noise. Really? Um, it's just your traditional path and everything, so... But I, I was pretty pleased with how it turned out. It, it feels, um, especially because you're in a flower forest, so there's a lot of flowers further in. It feels very lush and alive, I think. Um, so I'm really happy with how it turned out. Now, um, unfortunately, we did miss the whole thing, and I love that this cat's here. I feel like he looks a little bit, a little bit like Evil Shoes. And so I feel like every time I've been over here that... See? He's watching me. Evil's evil shoes is watching me. Let's let us let us let us go. Let's walk this way. Now, oh no, here they come again. Flee, flee, fly away. Let's see, where is his portal out of here? Uh, none of this looks familiar. I've only I don't think I've ever been to his base before now. Now, let's see, what's over here? Ooh, this looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was here. I was here. Here we go. This is the exit. By the way... Oh, no! No, 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 no! Go away. Go away. I was tempted to let it go into the nether. <laughs> there was a real temptation there. <laughs> By the way, he has a chicken fountain. Isn't this ridiculous? Really evil shoes. And he has pigmen in there with uh, iron armor and guardians uh heads i tell you that that evil shoes is something else <laughs> um anyway let's go through and head back all right and right here um we have the end portal tunnel now originally this was a Mi uh, like a mix of different types of blocks. There were parts that were distinctly stone, and there were was a little bit that had this uh, brick pattern um, going on. But a lot of it was just uh, just basically flat, nothing, no pattern. There was even like diorite and, and random bits of log and um, exposed nether rack and whatnot. So the tunnel was never finished. Uh, the tunnel also is shared with uh, a member of the community. Um, who, who, you know, has their base down there, of course. So, the, the room that that portal leads to is the end portal room, of course, uh, you know, as, as indicated by the signs. Um, but, but the design of the room is, you know, is the person who owns the base, you know, they made it. So I, so we redid the tunnel so that it actually looks finished. Um, one of the rules was that it had to match the actual room that the that the portal leads to. So we've got stone, andesite, bricks, and glass to keep it spawn proof. Um, so if we come down here and go through the portal, you'll see that it more or less matches. Um, with a few exceptions. Uh, come on. Hurry up. So, I didn't do the, um, the coal ceiling up here. I, I don't have a lot of coal that was going to be really expensive if I ended up doing that. Um, I know from personal experience how expensive coal can be to, to build with um, from my other series. Uh, I also didn't have the, the wood here or even these jutting out bits um, because I didn't want people to accidentally fly into them and, and die or anything like that. Um, so I just went with flat, uh, but, but I, I tried to keep it true to the theme of the room. Now if we go through the end portal here... Well, I have a confession to make. Let's plunge and see. Well, basically, the story is that the end island is, uh, done. <laughs> I did, as per usual, worked like a mad person and finished the entire thing. I finished the last few platforms, we'll take a look at those, and then I went through and did 
foliage everywhere. Mostly bone meal. Um, I, I try to keep the paths interesting with flowers and pumpkins and melons and, uh, you know, whatever else that we have going on. Pretty much just that, I guess. Little sugar cane along the water areas. Um, but yeah, I... I it, it took quite a while. It was a lot of work to finish that off. Um, so when we... When we finished the last episode, we had built up to here. I finished this platform, this, the bridge. It, it merges into the stony area. I know we were originally going to have like a platform up here, like a circular platform, but I decided I liked this better. Um, and it kind of fits in perfectly with the shape and everything. Um, the next one over is... A, it was. I found it very hard to get that high in such a short amount of space, uh, especially with, you know, trees here. I didn't want there to be no trees here, um, so I just settled for a very steep staircase. Um, nothing too fancy, but you know, there's 20 of 20 of those things, so um, they they can't all be you know utterly fantastic. Um, some of them have to be a little simpler. Now this one was really low to the ground, but I was able to fit in like these uh, corner structures and then the little cobblestone here even tuck some flowers underneath just to keep it interesting got a got a slightly unusual like ramp up here triangular angled ramp um and then the last one over here's kind of got like almost a treehouse feel because i went with all uh for the structure anyway i went with all wood instead of uh instead of the stone i know we used wood for the bridges but this is you know very clearly not a bridge um, and it just feels like it's uh, slightly more treehousey, especially since the only way to actually get in is to climb the vine. So hopefully nobody tears those down, because yeah, then you wouldn't be able to get up. Um, but yeah, I think that turned out pretty well. I think, I, I honestly, I think the whole project has turned out pretty well. There is like a couple maybe spots that are still spawnable. I honestly have no idea where they are. I've crawled all over this place. I can't find anything spawnable. Um, but occasionally uh, an, an Enderman will show up and, you know, teleport around. Um, it is possible there are some hollow areas underneath the ground where people have gone and, and dug some endstone out. Um, like, pro mostly earlier in the season, I think. Um, so it's maybe possible that they didn't fully light it up and, and there's a pocket somewhere that they're spawning in. I'm honestly not sure. Um... But yeah, it's 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 done. Um, the turtles are still jam-packed over there. I had about a stack of turtle eggs that I... Honestly, I used them as decoration. I didn't think anything was going to happen. Well, s ouch, something did happen. They, uh, they hatched and goodness only knows where they are now. I don't know if we have any baby ones in here right now. I know we had some here the last time I was here. But I also don't know how long it takes for them to grow up. <laughs> There's probably scoots that are despawning somewhere. <laughs> Oh well, that's that's fine with me. So, end project done. I I'm very very happy about this. Um, I this is definitely something I wanted to make sure was done in time for the tour, uh, in time for the down the world download and and all of that jazz. So I guess we can jump through the portal and go back to our base, and that's uh, kind of where we have to talk about some enchanting stuff. So meet you there. Oh no. <laughs> Really? <laughs> oh, is this gonna work? Nope, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, well, I'll meet you there in a few years. Slowly. Sinking. Oh boy. Okay, so the deal with the enchanting. Um, the other day, like, I think it was Monday or something like that, I had gone to the community farms, you know, where the villi the community villager trading hall town thing that we never really finished, um, where that is, and I temporarily minimized my game to quickly do something. And then I forgot that I had minimized it, and I decided to go get dinner, and so I came back half an hour later, was dead, all my stuff had long since despawned. I had just finished replacing my armor, so I spent the next, like, three hours or so completely replacing it again, um, and that's where Evil Shoes, and actually Gru as well, came into play. Gru, uh, volunteered to let me, um, to make use of some of his villagers, uh, they had some trades that, my, that, you know, our villagers didn't have, um, and, and whatnot, and I have been able to completely replace my backup armor, um, so... 
yay, I guess, but <laughs> I was like, I'm not doing it again. I'm not going to sit on this and make it take weeks, and we don't really have weeks left anyway, so... So yeah, we're we're fully built back up and everything. So it was quite interesting to uh, to have to to do that again. I, I that was not exactly the use of my time that I was anticipating. Um, now let me. I I don't know where this episode is at. It's kind of weird having to basically repeat myself because everything I've just said for the last you know x amount of minutes is something I've already said before today so let me take a break let me uh check what I've got so far make sure I ain't missing anything and then I'll be right back Alrighty, I'm back everybody uh just I, I just double check we were a little short on time really uh like short episode is what I mean to say um it, it losing all that footage that I recorded earlier kind of put a cramp into the style if you know what I mean um I guess uh we what what one thing I didn't mention I, I don't think I've mentioned anyway is uh is where we're where I plan to go from here because you know we've got our base done um we've got all the wood that was donated to us uh sitting over there um in fact I should probably go grab that let's do that right now um see if we can't cram it all into our shulkers uh, that I have. It's, it's actually really nice to have empty shulkers. Um, oops. That's what I wanted to do. Um, and that way we can uh, make use of all this wood that Yensid gave us. Uh, oops. Right here. And actually I'm going to put these flowers uh, away. I had temporarily been thinking about um, about no that doesn't go there using them at the at evil's base and then i got there and it's a flower forest <laughs> so let's grab this wood um all right i'm out of room fine whatever whatever we'll just put them here now with with the uh, evil's uh path being finished with the um Oh, uh, what is it? The End Island Transformation Project, with that being all taken care of. I mean, it really leaves us at a point where um, we, we can start doing more side projects. Uh, I, I wouldn't necessarily consider my uh, Nether Tunnel to be an actual side project. Um in terms of sides or anything like that because it's actually you know a pretty large chamber uh it's mostly that it's uh not really something that i expected to be able to finish because originally we thought the the end of the season would be much sooner um and also it's uh something i still don't have an actual plan for um in, in regards to what I'm going to build. It's something I'm going to have to brainstorm a lot about. So I'm not sure how soon we'll be able to get to that, if at all. I, I want to, believe me, I want to, but it it's the process of coming up with an idea first, and, and that's that's a really the real trick for me, because a lot of my base is, as you know, is based on Skyrim. Um, usually when I get a picture or an image of something, I'm able to replicate it re I, I guess, hopefully reasonably well, and then kind of use uh, different styles that I have observed in those pictures um, to help me design other things, like the towers and the walls and all of that stuff. Um, so coming up with a the real challenge then for me is to come up with that uh, that idea first to find a picture that I that I really speaks to me and says hey this might be a cool idea and in this case because we're in, we're technically still in a time crunch it's finding an idea that I can gather the resources quickly enough for and actually build it in time um, thankfully my tunnel's really short so <laughs> that won't be a, a long process it's it's mainly going to be the actual um, chamber itself. Now the other project is the villager town like like we've been talking about. Um, that will be significantly easier. I think there's two bare spotches where I need to add uh, additional buildings. You know what? It's nighttime. Let's quickly sleep. Reset the, the, the spawn mechanics for those silly phantoms um, and make sure our spawn is still still set here. Um, but anyway, we need a, we have two bear spots at the farms, at the community village thingy, 
um, that, that could use a couple buildings. I was thinking of putting a tavern in one of them, or a tavern slash inn. So I might do that on the larger plot, and then um, call it good. Uh, and then everything needs to be made lightproof. You know, I don't know what lighting designs I will use. Probably maybe use something like this. I think I still have... Yeah, I still have a little bit of leather left, and... Do I have any item frames on me? A little bit. I did use it. I did end up using a lot of them once I once I discovered the entities are okay. It's it's the actual mobs themselves that we have a 200 limit on this on our base for. Um, but yeah, that that will probably be the next project. Probably what we work in on our next episode. But for for now, I guess. I mean, I I, I don't really have. I don't want to just keep rambling along. You guys know I like to do that. Um, but yeah, those are my plans. Hopefully, we can get them all finished. I hope that uh, you keep on coming back to, to see those plans unfold. Um, but for now, I guess we're going to have to call this uh, episode, what is it, 45 we're up to? I guess we're going to have to call episode 45 version 2 complete right now because, I mean, I've already, I, I it's, it's been hours and, I'm, and I have <laughs> no idea if I've forgotten something that I wanted to say the first time around or anything like that. So we're just going to call it here, quit while we're ahead, and, you know, move on from there. So I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I hope you have uh, enjoyed the build, the project that we had over there at Evil's base. And I hope you keep coming back for more. But until next time, I hope you have a fantastic time and I will see you later. Bye!